hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial we're going to begin a new uh, series so we're going to be doing a build a website that can uh, generate qr codes and also be able to decode those qr codes so we're going to be using uh, python in this uh, uh, in this uh, uh, project so if you're new to the channel please kindly consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can never uh, you can never miss any update or never upload videos on this project so let me just go ahead and explain to you the project context so what you can do is that you can generate a qr code so if i just click on this it's going to take me uh, the form and i can fill the form let's say I just fill the form with uh, 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 google.com and then if i just generate a qr code it will generate a qr code for google so if, if, it, if you scan this with your mobile phone or your iPhone, you should get directed to google.com. Again, you can also go ahead and actually download this image. So let's I download the image in here. So let me go back in here and try to decode the image that I just downloaded. So I can also decode the QR code. So I'm just going to press on decode QR code. And I'm going to open up my file system. And I'm going to go to downloads. And then let me just bring this right here. So you can see this is a file that I just downloaded. So I'm just going to drop it in here. So once I drop it in here, it will get uploaded and you can see the decoded value that we just stored in there was Google HTTPS and then Google.com. So that's how you can, that's how, the, that's how simple the project is going to be. So you can just actually uh, generate QR code for maybe just a, maybe help babe and then you can just, uh, just something funny. You can download it and then you can just go to decode QR code. And if I go to my file system and then I try getting this and I'm going to upload it here, it's going to get a hello babe. So you can keep anything basically instead of the QR code and the QR code will decode it and then uh, generate the QR code, you can download the QR code, you can also decode it. So this also work on your mobile phone, you can use the mobile phone to scan these QR codes if you generate them. Like this QR code, you can use the mobile to scan it and it will uh, return the information that has been stored in there. So that's how easy the project is going to be. So you're going to be using, uh, you're going to be using Flask. You're going to be using Bootstrap for the CSS and stuff. You're going to be using Flask Drop Zone for the image draw where you can decode, where you can drop an image here. You're going to be using Flask uh, Drop Zone. You're going to going to be using uh, uh, HTML, CSS, and other stuff. So let's get started. In this draw, I'm just going to go ahead and actually set up the basic uh, development environment, and then the next draw will generate the QR code. And then coming the next draw, we'll, we'll go ahead and decode the QR codes uh, using this uh, file, the Flask Drop Zone okay so let's get started so i'm just going to you can see the project is running on my local machine so i'm going to go ahead and actually stop that and clear the terminal so i'm going to create uh, open up another part and in here i'm going to create a new file we're going to keep our project okay so let me just make this a bit bigger so make it a bit bigger and then i'm going to change directory to directories back so let me just change to directories back and then i'm going to now also change to my desktop so change directory back and then here i'm going to create a new directory i'm going to call it flask uh qr uh let me just say qr code uh yeah you can just call flask qr code underscore j now you can call it anything you want and i'm going to change my directory into that so you can see currently i have nothing inside of this let me just de deactivate my conda environment so if you don't have a conda environment then just ignore this step so once that is done, I'm going to create a Python virtual environment. So I'm going to pip3 and then the dash m vnv and then vnv. I'm going to call my virtual environment vnv. Okay. So if you're on Windows and uh, if you're on Windows, this is the command is not going to work for you. So you can just go and Google how to create a virtual environment on Windows. If you don't want, feel free to skip this step. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a simple uh, Python virtual environment. So if you don't want to create a virtual environment, feel free to go ahead and actually skip this step. So instead of this virtual environment, I'm just going to actually create it right now. And this is going to work for guys who are on, on Linux and uh, 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 MacBook, right? This Unix operating systems. This command works for you, but Windows, it won't. So if I do an LS right now, which is on Windows, is DIR. You can see I have my virtual environment created. They're called VNV. So now that I have my virtual environment created, I'm going to go ahead to activate. I'm going to source. I'm going to say source uh, vn vnv for slash bin and then for slash activate. So I'm going to activate my virtual environment, and you can know the virtual environment is activated whenever you can see it in front of parentheses, uh, inside parentheses in front of the line. Okay, great. So in here, I'm going to go ahead and do pip3. I do pip uh, install uh, flask. I'm going to install flask. I also need to go and install Flask Drop Zone. So if I go back to the official documentation, and uh, this Flask Drop Zone is what we are going to use to drop these images here. So I'm just going to go here and copy this command. Uh, this, this, uh, you can just go on Google and search for Flask Drop Zone, and you can get Flask Drop Zone just like that. So I'm going to go back to the terminal and then paste this in here. Flask is already installed. I also want to go ahead and actually install the QR code, the QR code, which is just a library in Python that is used to generate QR code. So I'm just going to copy this command here, 
make sure that you copy this command and not this command okay because you're going to use this command allow us to use pillow if you're on pillow is an image processing library in python okay so that make sure that you use this command and not uh, the one here because you need pillow so once that's done i'm going to clear terminal and install this as well so install that and one thing I also need, I also need OpenCV. The OpenCV will help us to decode our uh, QR codes. So I'm just uh, searching for it here. So I can just go in here. I'm with pypy.org. I can just go uh, OpenCV. Uh, sorry. Just like that. And I can just go uh, to say OpenCV uh, hyphen Python. Just like that. So let me find again. Okay, yeah, I can get this OpenCV. So I can copy this and I can just go ahead and install OpenCV as well. So I'm just going to clear the terminal and paste this right here and then install uh, uh, OpenCV as well. And OpenCV is what we're going to use to decode uh, to decode our, our QR code. Whenever you get a QR code image, you're going to use OpenCV to read the content of that image of the QR code and then decode it. So yeah, that's basically what you're going to do. So now that you have a uh, environment set up, let's go ahead and actually set up the, the project directories and other stuff. And then we'll end for this video. And then the next video, we'll begin to create our QR code. So I'm going to run ls. And I'm going to create a, 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 a folder here. I'm going to call it mkdal. And I'm going to call it application. And then in here, uh, in here, uh, that's where we're going to keep our Flask application. So I'm just going to open Visual Studio Code. Feel free to open edit any editor of your choice, okay? So I'm just going to open up Visual Studio Code. And once Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code is open up, let's go ahead and actually set up our, our project directory. Yeah, now it's done. Let's go ahead and actually set it up. So I'm just going to uh, go in here and then I'm going to... Uh, create another uh, file in here i'm going to call this file routes.py and this we are going to keep all our all our routes all our uh, our routes right so i'm just going to uh, press this and i'm going to say routes.py just like that and this we are going to keep all our routes and also we're going to create uh, an underscore underscore init file so i'm going to create another file so i'm going to say underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi and this is going to create an underscore underscore in each pulse for us so in here that's we're going to instantiate our python our flask our flask object and they have been able to set it up so let's go ahead and actually instantiate that so i'm going to go ahead and say uh from flask import uh i'm going to import flask so i'm also going to say uh yeah that's what I, all i need for now and i'm going to say app create an app it's going to be flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore just like that and then in here i'm going to go and and um, i'm going to sim simply say uh from application which is just our project our, our project folder you're going to import uh routes routes which is this right here the reason we're importing this is because of something known as secular imports this is something this is not something i'm going to explain in this video but just know that we need to import you need to keep this line here or you have issues okay so i'm going to go i'm going to go inside of my routes and i'm going to say from application import uh app and you can just create a simple route so i'm going to say app dot route and i'm going to just uh just say for slash i'm going to say def uh def we're going to say index so going to simply just return uh hello world just like that so now that we have that you can create a run file that's going to use to run our application so in this in the root directory i'm going to create another file i'm going to call it run.py so we have application uh, vnv of virtual environment and then we have run.py so i'm going to say from uh application import uh we're going to import app and i'm going to go uh, create an entry point underscore underscore uh name equals to uh the codes uh underscore underscore main so i'm going to say main underscore underscore and i'm going to say uh app dot run and then debug debug is going to be true so that's all we need so this is going to be the what this we're going to use this to run our, our flask application so you can just go in here and then do uh, an ls and you can see we have that run dot py so i'm going to create a terminal and do python 3 uh, run.py and it's going to run our development server at localhost at 3000. So when I go there, let's see what we get. So I'm just, I've just uh, opened up this URL. So if I just go there, you see it opens it up. And once you get back, it's just a simple hello world. So you can see that hello world right there. So you can just see that hello world. So even if I try to zoom in, uh, I think I can zoom in with this. Yeah, so here again, zoom in, you can see I have hello world right there. So that's how uh, simple it is to return just a simple hello world. And this hello world is coming from our ROS file in this function called uh, 
uh, in, uh, index dot uh, index index in the index function right and in this function you have a, has a decorator so if you're not a decorator I have a whole series on decorators on my YouTube channel so you can check that uh, that's uh, that series out talking about decorators so I assume that you have the basic knowledge of flask so I'm not going to go into depth about the basic knowledge of flask if you don't I have a lot of flask series on my YouTube channel so you can check out and learn a lot about flask so you can see uh, we're just going to return a simple hello world and if you access that a uh, route and that's what you get here by returning a simple hello world so great I tell you made a type of this supposed to be hello world so if you change this to be uh, maybe change this to be index then if you run the application again let's check here it's running so if you now make uh, this you shouldn't get anything back so now to do is get back a 404 so as you can do it for slash index and now you should return to you hello world because you have matched up this route here called for slash index and what it returns is just a simple hello world and that's how you get back a simple hello world so guys we just set up the basics of our application so next row begin to run uh the red qr codes and other stuff like that so th thanks for watching uh if you haven't yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing and see you in the next one keep safe